गणपति गमे कवि कवीना उपमश्रवस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पद आन शृण्वन्नो दिव्यसीत साधनम ओं श्री सद्गुमहागणाधिपत नम नारायणा विमे वासुदेवाय धीम तो विष्णु प्रचोदया महादेव्य विमे विष्णुपत्नी चीम तो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदया तत्षा विमे महासेनाय धीम तन्नुख प्रचोदया भूतनादा विमे भवपुत्रा धीम तन्नशास्ता प्रचोदया आदिग जसो मय मंगलाये बुधाय गुर शुक्र शनिभ्यस्हबे केतवे नमो नम आंजनेज विमे वायुपुत्र धीम तो हनुम प्रचोदयाद्यायणा विमे कन्याकुमारी धीम तो दुर्गे प्रचोदयाद तत्षा विमे महादेवाय धीम तो रुद्र प्रचोद गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरुर्ष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम गुरव सर्वोका विषजे भवरोहिनाधजेद्यादक्षिणामूर्त नम सद्गुरचरणारविंदाभ्या नम सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे काम रूपिणी विद्यारंभम क्यामी सिद्धर्भव मे सदा सर्वंगलमंगल शिव सर्वाथ साधि शरण्ये त्रिजंभगे गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तु ते नमो व्राधपत नमो गणपत नम प्रमद पतजे नमस्ते अस्तु लंबोदराज जेकृंदाज विघ्न विनाशिने शिवतुदाज श्री वरद मूर्तजे नमो नम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि सभा निर्विघ्न गुर मे देवा सर्वेशु सर्वदा विनाशकाधि समस्त हरिहर देवताभ्यो नमो नम सर्व अपराध क्षमंगल प्राप्तर्थमकार पंचमुखदीप दृषा नमस्ते डॉक्टर डॉक्टर नायर यस सर वुड यू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस गिरिजय गारु वी डोंट हैव टू ओह प्लीज 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 गिरिजय देयर आर अ फ्यू हु डू नॉट नो अबाउट गुरु गारु वेल फॉर दोस पीपल हु डोंट नो गिरिजय गारु वी हैव गिरिजय गिरिजय हैज बीन अ टेंपल रेसिडेंट सिंस 1978 वी सर राइट गिरिजय 83 83 okay okay uh came from michigan and um and he has been a psychiatrist by profession but a very all round physician and he has a tremendous interest in uh you in know scriptures and uh, be and he has been a regular participant and leader in our satsang that used to happen every wednesday evening and once we started the zoom pro- program uh that has been that he has been uh in a sleeping mode we haven't revived it uh well i shouldn't say we haven't revived it we have but girija also conducts classes every friday for the telugu i think he conducts those classes in telugu so it is attended by people who understand telugu on our scriptures and he has a tremendous interest in bhagavad gita uh, the bhagavatam mahaparada and all the other scriptures that we have and um he, he has always been enamored by the relationship between ratha and krishna and now we'll be able to listen to him in a formal way and uh take it from here grija yeah. let me start with my own prayer okay अलके वक्षस्थले कौस्तु 
Nasagre Naramautikam Karatale Venum Kare Kankankanam Sarvange Chandanam Chakalayam Kakesha Muktavalim Gopastri Parivreshtito Vijayate Gopala Chura Mani In Bollywood, the same slogan was, you know, Kasturi Tilkam Lad Falke, Nimakshastile, Matte Venum, Venum, see this, see like that, Sanskrit. I think. I still think Sanskrit is still living in South India much better than in some North Indians. Now, the <clears throat> I'm going to start with uh, the first uh, slokam in Astrapadi. Then I'm going to go on to our main topic, Radha Krishna. Sudeva Sutam Devam Kamsa Chanura Marganam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Guru Krishnam Vande Jagat Guru now, this is the first of these uh, Ashtra, uh, the Krishna Ashtakam, of course, you know, everybody knows the meaning of it. Now, <clears throat> in this, Krishna is described. Uh, then he goes on to describe how, how he looks. They, they, they no, like Rama, when we describe Rama, you have to have Kodan and all those kinds of things. In Krishna's case, it's all sattvic, hyper sattvic. You know, when you have uh, if a picture of Krishna. In Rama's picture, always you have Rama, Sita, Lakshmana, Hanuman, all those kings, Rampalva. He's always with his bow and arrow. Uh, in Krishna's case, lots of times you don't see, even see a female member there. Uh, even if you, a female there, it's, uh, an, you know, we don't know the name of the person. Is it Rukmini or is it Sachabhama? Is it whoever? Is it Radha? In some, if you don't have a female there, there is a cow instead. And if there is no cow, he's alone by himself with his flute. So that is how they depict uh, Lord Krishna in most of these pictures. Now, how did the name Radha Krishna come along? Because in Mahabhagavatam, Radha is never mentioned among all these it all depends upon you know who you read. Some people say there are sixty thousand Gopikas. Some people, some people say you know, lakhs of Gopikas. Whatever it is, but names are never given in Mahabharata of the Gopikas. Uh, Radha is never mentioned, but Radha Krishna is one of the very common names, like Gajya Sankar, Lakshmi Narayan. Radha Krishna, these are Dvandva names, you know, very commonly uh, used in uh, naming people. Is Madhav here? Madhav is here? I'm here, sir. Yeah, Madhav, you know, I was going to say that in case of Madhav, the, the, that Madhav itself is a double name. Ma is Lakshmi, Dhav is her husband, so Ma and Dhav. But now, of course, you added the Sharon, so that's okay. In Radha Krishna's case, Radha and Krishna have to have two. Now, I want, I'm going to start with a story. Um, see, Bhakti, Radha Krishna Tattvam is mainly Bhakti. Uh, when, when, we go, when we go to details, we'll find out that it's not only Bhakti, but it is a representation of the omnipotence of the Paramatma, Jiva and, and, and the Prakriti and Purusha, combination of it, less like that. Because you know, in any uh, couple, the female of the couple is, uh, you know, uh, designated as a prakriti, 
and the male part of the prakriti is the, uh, the paramatma part of the push up of uh, the, that aspect of it. Uh, this is Arjuna Arisar Tattva. Some people, some people say this is the same, like uh, in a Shiva Parvati Arjuna Arisar Tattva, Radha Krishna is also the same kind of Arjuna Arisar Tattva. So, but when uh, Dharmaraja was doing this Rajasu Yaga and finished it, and of course the, you, know, you all know the story, and uh, Shishupala comes and you know he abuses Krishna, and when his hundred uh, hundred days are over, then he, Krishna let loose, lets loose his uh, chakram and he, he, you know, he decapitates him. And uh, lo, and, lo and behold, to the surprise of everybody, mostly to Dharmaraj, a, 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 some kind of jyoti comes out of uh, uh, Sishupala's body and then goes and merges with Krishna. Then uh, Dharmaraj is very surprised. So he asks him, no, how come this guy, you know, you, from, from the time he was born, all he does is abuse. Uh, Krishna, now he, he, you know, he, he, he goes and joins him, becomes part of him, Sayaji Mukti. How, how does it, is, how is it possible? Then Narada tells him, uh, this is in a, um, a poem I'm going to read in Telugu, but it is all Sanskrit, so everybody can understand it. If somebody cannot understand it, then I'll explain that to you. So Narada tells him, well, this is how it goes. Uh, there are five different ways of reaching God. Kamod kantata gopikal. Kamod kantata gopikal. Bhayamnam kamsundu. Vaira kriya samgya sisupala mukhin ruputul. Sambandhule vrishnulun. Preman merulu. Pati nemu. Iri chakin gantim itlayana. Uddama jana garishudena. Harin Chandan was a Dachri Sura. See, Kamot Kantan and Gopika. Gopikas, they, 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 they merge with Lord Krishna with a desire, which is, which is you know, carnal desire, basically. You, you know, you can describe it in different ways, but this, the word this is Kamot Kantata. Kama, different kinds of desires. They want to be with him, or they want to be their, his, his wife. They want to be you know, feeding him, all those kinds of things. So desire is one way. Then bhayam, fear, kamsa. I think nobody has ever exceeded the number of times kamsa mentioned Krishna's name in his lifetime. Right from, right from the time he gets up in the morning and he goes to sleep, he never slept. 24 seven, he was singing of Krishna, 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 Krishna. Ever since the lady Akasvani said, the eighth, uh, it born is going to kill you from then on until he died. He always, every moment of his life, he was thinking the name of Krishna out of fear, but still he got mukti because Krishna came and relieved his fear. Bhaira uh, Kriya Samadhi, you know, enmity, like Sishupala. So we know the story who Sishupala is, Ravana, Mukarna Sishupala. Tantavatra, Hiranyakashap, and Hiranyaksha. These are the J, J Vijayas. And he, he tells the story to, to Dharmaraj. We all know that story. So you can be enemy and yet get motion from, from Krishna, from uh, Lord. Thambandhulu. Vrishnis, you know, his family. All his family, and his members of his family. You can be a part of his family. You know, you, you can't be a part of his family unless you have done lots, lots of lots of good service in the past, in the past lives. When Preman made a talking to Dharmaraja out of love, because you love him. You know, in all Bharatam, despite everything that goes on in the Bharatam, everybody dies, everybody dies. 11 plus seven, 18 Akshon is saying him completely dead. 100 of Dhritarashtra's sons dead. Except five Pandavas, everybody else died, including Abhimanyu. And their other children, Draupadi, everybody died. Only living um, the representation of Pandavas at the end of the war was in the, in, in the belly of Uttara. But like, the Pandavas never, never, never accuse Krishna of anything. They always praise him. Even when Abhimanyu died in the war, Arjuna never says a word, bad word. Krishna 
You were here with us all the time. Why don't you save him? We didn't say that. But when anything happens to them, anything good comes out of in, in their life, they always give the credit to Krishna. That's the that's kind of love he's talking about. So Premana Miralu, Bhakti Nemo, out of Bhakti Narada and so on, people like Narada, out of Bhakti, can all achieve re- sight. So just just for for Tamara to think about it, because you should, you know that's what the Sanaka um, Sanandana when they went into uh, the Vaikuntham, that's they they gave an option. They have here in seven lives, you can be his friends and then come back again after that, or you can his enemies in three lives and come back in three lives. So they choose three lives. So he said faster sometimes. So anyway, so so here we are talking about the love aspect of it. Radha and Krishna. Uh, <clears throat> now, different people, Vivekananda says, unless you, you have completely understood Bhagavatam, this aspect, the Rasalila should not be taught to young people. You have to understand complete Bhagavatam, then only it should be taught because it can be easily misunderstood. Uh, and you know, very, very graphic descriptions, you know, kissing and all those kinds of things. So it's difficult to explain in, in, a, you know, in a philosophical way, those kinds of things. All right. like, like, you know, Radha and Krishna, because <clears throat> we have uh, a famous Radha Krishna in India, who was president of India at that time. Uh, as names and concepts, they're inseparable. Like I said, you know, Prakriti and Purusha. Bhagavatam sings the glory of Krishna and his various avatars in 18,000 scintillating verses. And yet Radha's name never comes up in the entire works. Why? Legend has it that the sage Sukha who narrated Bhagavatam to Parikshit, he was in such ardent follower, ardent devotee of Radha that even the mention of name of the Radha will send him into Samadhi. That's why he avoided the of the in Bhagavatam to Parikshit. That's what people say. Some of the, some of the philosophers, they said that. <clears throat> because you will interrupt the flow of his thought. Because he, Radha, then immediately he goes into Samadhi. Actually, I heard the story from Tejan Manandaji. Krishna as an avatar, of course, you know, I just want to compare a little bit of Krishna and Rama. You know, in Rama, you know, Rama gets married pretty young, 12 years old, and then, you know, then he goes to um, Dandakar and all those kinds of things. 25, he goes to uh, forest and kind of kills Ravana and comes back. And then that's it. In Rama's case, his childhood is never described in Ramayana. There is no childhood description. Whereas in Krishna, who well, the entire Dasamaskanda, the earlier part of the first part of Dasamaskanda, entirely about Krishna's childhood. I mean, it, it, so there are some people who read only that part of it. They don't read any other parts of the Bhagavatam. This, once again, I'm quoting Teja Manandaji. Uh, I heard Teja Manandaji, you know, he came to temple to give discourses on uh, Bhagavatam in uh, Prasanna's house several years ago, long, long time ago. And we taped that. And I, I used to listen to those tapes all the time when I go to the gym. So uh, that's how I developed an interest and love for this uh, concept of that. You know. And I, I remember lots of those uh, quotations from Tej. I'm not making them up. So you have to believe me. Um, Krishna is an avatar. Or the descent, what is an avatar? A, avatar is a descent of the divine into the human world. Now Krishna discloses the condition of being to which the human souls should rise. The purpose of an avatar is to show us, you know, Dushta Sikshana, Sister Rakshana is commonly used. But uh, according to some people, both are uh, education. See, 
Sikshana means both ways. In Sanskrit, the meaning of Sikshana, Raju is there. Sikshana can mean education. Sikshana can mean punishment. But in this case, Dushta Sikshana, Sikshana Rakshana. Dushta Sikshana means it's not punishment. It's a, to teach the bad people so that they can also get better. You know, in, in, in Bhagavatam, you can see the story. When Devatas commit a mistake, like Devendra or Brahma Dev comes in and then makes a mistake, you know, he says, who is this young kid who is doing all these kinds of things? I, I want to teach him a lesson. So he makes those cows and everything disappear for one whole year. And then uh, Krishna, yeah, okay. Everybody goes home. He creates his own uh, universe. All these kids are born. I mean, he created all of them. All the kids, all the cows, calves, and everything, including their uh, attires, nothing has changed. So they go home just like uh, uh, every day. The real cowherds are somewhere else. Brahma has you know, captured them somewhere in a cave. They, they are not going home, but Krishna's creator is going home. And it, 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 you know, Bhagavad says that particular day, all the mothers, when they saw the cows and the boys and, and the children, they, they felt much more motherly. Oh man, my son looks so beautiful today. They were so, they were so you know, because they're divine. And the cows were giving more milk than any other day. They did not know anything. And one year later, Brahma comes and there is Brahma Stuti in Bhagavatam, which is one of the famous things, and falls at the feet of this eight-year-old boy and says, I have learned my lesson. And, and Krishna shows him all these ants crawling on the walls, at the foot of the wall. See, these are all the ex-Brahmas like you. So you don't, don't get, you know, don't get uh, over excited about this. You are one of the many, 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 many Brahmas over the, over the course of the civilization. So, so that is the avatar we're talking about. So why does it come? Why does it descend? Avatar means descent. Why does it come? He wants to use his hand and pull you up, uttar. So he, that's the reason Bhagavan comes down to lift us. That is Sikshana. That's what the essence of Yavta says. <clears throat> Krishna means among other things, Akarshana, attraction, bliss, and also darkness. darkness. Now, the darkness of Krishna is described as Nila Meghashyama. You know, to the Vyapa stage of Vairakasya. The, from the grosser to the subtler. The earth, of course, is the grossest. You go on, go on. Akasha, by the time you come to Akasha, very subtle. You can see it, you can feel it. Uh, and, and you know, we have to admit that it is present. But the Paramatman is described in the Bhagavad Gita is much, much subtler than the Akasha. Akasha is just an example for us. So if you can see, if you can feel, you can experience the Akasha, how can you experience the thousandfold subtler than Akasha entity. And that entity, the Akasha from here looks blue. So anything which is like that non-entity is blue. Just like the blue deep ocean or the deep blue sky. That's why they call deep blue sky or deep blue ocean. You know, that's why Nila Mahagashyama is consistent with the, uh, the Gambhirium at the depth, the, 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 the measure, me, immeasurable qualities are the Bhagavan. That's why it's called Nila Megasha. So. <clears throat> it is unfathomable attributes like omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence that causes this darkness. Uh, and I can handle it. I just not tried it. You can handle it. I, I want to see back. I want to go back again to you. You know, Lord Krishna, please, please forgive me. I don't want to say this Vishnu anymore. I can't handle it. So, but as you know, is in, is in the in the, in the form of a manhood. So that's why from time to time, periodically, Bhagavan appears to play with us so that we can understand him. He he can teach us in a way we can understand him. 
That's the reason why he comes as a human being once in a while. And hence the charm of these zillion Krishna Leelas. You know, the, if you talk to people, uh, person in a Swargam, in the Swargam, you have to give some attractions. Why would you want to go to the heaven? You know, like uh, the Muslim boys are given this, you'll go there and 72 virgins are there kind of thing. So you can kill yourself here, enjoy there like that. And we also told the same kind of thing. You know, there are some absurdas, Ramba, Urusi, those kinds of things. And, and also, you never age there. The Tridesha, in Sorgham it's called Tridesha. The 35, you're always 35. And in Vaikuntam, and if you talk to the Vaishnavas, they'll say, oh, is Sorgham 35? In Vaikuntam, 25. It's 25 only. There is another Lokam called Golokam. A lot of these people like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, those people, they believe in another Lokam. That's only Krishna's Lokam, not Vishnu. Krishna Lokam. There's even, you know, even much younger people. So I think I always sweet 16. I don't know, I have never heard that, but 35, 25 I heard. But some people said Golokam is higher. These are the people, Krishna conscious, you know, the Christian people. So these people say, uh, you know, they're only really younger than that and all those kinds of things. Anyway. And who is Radha? Who is Radha? Like I said, it's not a character in the Bhagavatam. But, uh, but see, we, we, you know, like in our philosophy, nothing is, nothing, you know, ever dies. So we have to be, this. we have to come back. Somebody has to come back as Radha. She must be somebody else before. You can't just have a Radha somewhere. So legend has it that one day in uh, in in the Swargalokam, uh, Indra's wife, Sechi, fell in love with Vishnu. And so she approached him and asked him, see, you know, and she said, no, he said, no, you know, Upendra's, he's Upendra. So he becomes her sister-in-law. Not, not now, you know, when I'm born as Krishna, then you can, you can come back. So, Radha is born as the sister of Nanda. Nanda is, of course, the father of uh, Krishna in Gokul. So, he, this is a uh, maternal aunt. But, of course, we never see that aunt. But these are all stories in other Puranas, they, you know, those kinds of things. Uh, but this is a concept only. But in Bhagavatam, as far as Bhagavatam goes, this is only a Prakriti Purusha Samant. I always wondered, uh, I mentioned that in one of the classes, for females, they can fall in love with the Lord as a concert. Examples, Amukta Malyada, you know, Tirupavai Athar, Andar, uh, Mira. So there are lots of examples like that. But we have never seen an example of a man falling in love with a, a female devata. I don't know why. We have never seen that. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, even though he worshipped Mahakali, Kali Ma, but he never, dis he always Ma, Amma, Amma, but not ever as a concert. I have never seen an example of that. But there are several examples the other way around. I, I don't know why, but uh, I'm just, just a thought. Sages have depicted Radha as the foremost among the Gopikas of Vrindavan and as the chief participant of Rasa Leela. Jayadeva immortalized the divine love between Radha and Krishna in the Gita Govindam, comprising of 24 Astapadis and 72 verses. Later, Narayana Tirtulu, I'm proud to say he's from Andhra, from Andhra Pradesh, wrote a treatise on this Sri Krishna Leela Tarangani. They are, they are very famous. But, uh, then, of course, we have uh, uh, another, the Krishna Karnamrutam, a book by another Telugu man. The characters claim him, but we proved that he is from Telugu, Andhra. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself came over to Andhra to collect his book and said he is in Andhra. He was the Bilva Mangal of the Chintamani story. He was a, a, a pious man 
and he was duped and he fell falls in love with a, a prostitute and that prostitute tells him the uh, you know that you, you spend all this energy here why don't you go and do something else and see the seek the lord that's how he goes there and then he, he bilva mangal is a given for a given name but he becomes uh, lila sukha the sukha is added because he is as good as sukha sukha maharshi so that's why he's got sukha lila sukha in krishna karnamritam i'm going to quote some of them in in our uh, future cl- classes here you know the famous rasa lila uh, slokam angana mangana that is from krishna karnamritam and there is a beautiful translation in telugu just as beautiful as uh, angana mangana okay uh, no but for vedantis you know different puranas describe rasa but in bhagavatam rasa is not mentioned but i said but the vedantic uh, point of view it is a concept an attachment and a faith and it is called the yoga maya yoga maya of lord krishna you know in the krishna avatar there is nothing in vaikuntham left the locked doors that's why uh, one day he calls indra and says you know there is nobody there because everybody came down here all the absurdists are here all the gods are here he, you know the cows came everything is here so where do you want indra sabha there so you, you i want indra sabha here so sudharma that is indra sabha's name lock stock and barrel he is put in dwarka sudharma so because there is nobody there so that's how the whole entire thing even the blade of grass this is tejaman that said even the blade of grass in brindavan must have must have been something from somewhere else because of their their, their good deeds in, in their previous lives and he says tejaman that said who may have been there too who, who knows who may have been part of the grass blade or something otherwise would not be in the satsang that's what he said in one of his meetings <clears throat> so radha is considered yoga maya that is the free will of god swetcha his incomprehensible power that is his swetcha means in sanskrit i am I'm, i'm not a scholar but you know the dhatu radha means worship aradhana that comes from aradha radha and the person who worships is radha if you reverse the word it becomes dhara so we all learn in various books you know scriptures and bhagavad gita that a bhakti has to be like the oil dhara not water dhara oil dhara so it's the same thing radha aradhana dhara is in the form of a dhara continuous flow same volume same thickness and also radha also means delight delighting power ahlajani shakti in the depiction of krishna leela involving gopikas Radha is a metaphysical concept. She is among them, and yet she is not among them. But every every Gopika is a Radha. But no, Radha's name is not name is not mentioned in Krishna Karna. We come. He describes the various uh, kinds of things. These people act the Radha and Krishna go and do this, do this. But you know, we'll come to that later on. Uh, beautiful stories described. but like that like you know among them yeah, yeah, she is not among them now this is how radha krishna describes this aspect of it the concept of this radha krishna radha krishna describes like this i'm quoting him now uh, songs to the singers herse to the heretics and religion to the orthodox song to the singers herse to the heretics and religion to the orthodox but the dust of the rose petal belongs to the heart of the perfume seller but the dust of the rose petal belongs to the uh, heart of the perfume seller so radha is described by sri radha krishna radha is the dust students of bhagavatam cannot see radha in the narration but they can perceive her throughout the entire description very much like the gold in the ornaments you don't have to describe gold in the ornaments it's, it's gold is there in the ornaments it, it, one of my teachers told me a story like you know um, if if you ask a 5 year old kid or 6 year old kid uh, what is this 
He says it's a chain. No, it's gold. No, it's a chain. What is this? It's a ring. No, it's gold. No, it's... So he always sees them in a firm way, you know. So he doesn't have the con absolute concept of gold. He always is seeing this. So he calls it a ring. This is you know, the Desakala was to name all those kinds of things. But he, unless he sees a gold bar, he will not be able to comprehend this significance of this variety. So my teacher says, unless you have concept of the absolute at least one time, you will not be able to absorb all these things as a creation of the same magnificent uh, omnipotent. That's why we have this difficulty. That's why I keep saying in our classes, we, we practice Dvaitam and in our class, try to understand Advaitam, which is very confusing, a little difficult. Like my teacher said, unless you see, you show a gold bar to a five-year-old kid and then show him how the gold bar is converted into ring and chain and glow, you know, necklace, all those kinds of things, you will never believe you that, you know, these are different. And this, this understanding of the concept of this is the background for the innumerable stories of Bhagavatam, Bharatam, and various other books. Why would Krishna have a relationship with another man's wife? Ask the skeptics and the rationalists. The Vedantis answer, can you accuse the ocean of playing with the waves? Can you accuse a child of playing with his fingers? See, this is all Lord's creation. So whatever he wants to do. So once again, we have to remember that uh, we don't know in next life, we, we, we haven't chosen, we were born, we haven't chosen culture, we have chosen our country, and this is an accident. And we don't know what's going to happen next. Our relationships also, it's difficult to swallow sometimes. May, we, we never know. One's own mother might become his wife in his next life, or vice versa. He may become he, he may become her husband, her wife, in the next life. So the Sachi Devi story is how he's explained like that. So you never know. So the relationship in this life is not a continuous thing. So we wouldn't have to, uh, you know, first cousin's marriage don't apply. The law of first cousin's marriage doesn't apply in the next life. So that's how they explain that. When a Gopika is seeking Krishna in Vrindavan, among hedges, how much time do I have? So 7.37 already. Can we stop here? Prasanna? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, well, Raju is the one who is controlling that. Yeah. Um, no, no, we want to, we want to have more sessions. I think um, you should Please uh, bring up uh, the Krishna Leela Amritam and uh, Astapadis as you are planning. Yeah, if you don't ahead. mind continuing for two more classes or three more classes, Sundays, we can we can well, take a I break can, here. I can, I can, can, can you hear about, me? I can talk about this for another six classes. Yes, yes. Um, well, well, let's uh, let's uh, listen to the audience in the in the discussion time. Okay. So it's now almost seven forty. Uh, yeah, the tradition is um, to do Hanuman Chalisa and uh, and um, um, uh, Mangala Shlokas and then have a discussion for another 10 minutes. Okay. We'll close at 7.55. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, we'll do that. I'll, I'll start and, uh, and then because, uh, you know, we, the earlier concept is over, Radha Krishna concept is over. Next, we're uh, going to go into the Rasalila part of it. And we'll get yes. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate for... Um, this enlightening us. And um, uh, here is a small poem where Radha is singing for Krishna, for Madhava. So it is Radha or one of the Gopikas who is, uh, again, as Guru Guru has said, thinking that she herself is Radha is singing this song. I'll just say it in English, then Jyoti will sing in, in Telugu. And uh, I wrote this. 
O oh Lord, O oh Krishna, this is enough for my entire life. This is my treasure for my whole life. Dear Krishna, sprung forth like a fountain, your sweet song, like a relentless flow on my tongue. Ever enchanting is your name. It's imprinted in me as your form. Ever enchanting is your name. It's imprinted in me as your form. Bhagavad Gita, the song celestial has become life's eternal manual. The dance of your romance in the gardens of Vrindavan is essence of all the signs. The dance of your romance in the gardens of Vrindavan is the essence of all signs in the scriptures. The sound of your magical flute, O Krishna, is the wind moving as my life's force, prana, O Krishna. And it's in Telugu. I think you can understand some of the words uh, which are a little blended with Sanskrit. Jyoti. And after that, please sing Hanuman Chalisa. And then we'll have uh, questions and answers till 7.55. Only questions. Only questions, sure. Mm. ఈ జన్మకిది చాలు మాధవా నాకి పది వేలు యాదవా ఈ జన్మకిది చాలు మాధవా నాకి పది వేలు యాదవా నీ పాట నా నోట మాధవా ఊటయ్యి పారేను యాదవా నీ పాట నా నోట మాధవా ఊటయ్యి పారేను యాదవా నీ గీతయే నాకు మాధవా బ్రతుకు తెరువాయేను యాదవా నీ గీతయే నాకు మాధవా బ్రతుకు తెరువాయేను యాదవా నీ నామమ్ము నాలో న మాధవా మంత్రమై జపమాయ యాదవా నీ నామమ్ము నాలో న మాధవా మంత్రమై జపమాయ యాదవా నీ రూపంబు నాలో న మాధవా శాశ్వతంబై నిలిచ యాదవా నీ రూపంబు నాలో న మాధవా శాశ్వతంబై నిలిచ యాదవా నీ వేణుగానం బి మాధవా నా ప్రాణవాయు యాదవా నీ వేణుగానం బి మాధవా నా ప్రాణవాయు యాదవా నీ రాసలీలే మాధవా వేదసారంబు రాధకు యాదవా నీ రాసలీలే మాధవా వేదసారంబు జీవులకు యాదవా ఈ జన్మకిది చాలు మాధవా నాకి పది వేలు యాదవా ఈ జన్మకిది చాలు మాధవా నాకి పది వేలు యాదవా నాకి పది వేలు యాదవా నాకి పది వేలు యాదవా Thank you. Mm. Jaya Hanuman Gyan Guna Sagar Jaya Kapi Sati Huloka Vujagar Rama Dhuta Dulita Baladhama Anjani Putra Pavana Sutta Nama Mahavira Vikram క్రమజరంగి కుమతి నివారు సుమతి కేసంగి కంచన వరన విరాజు సుబేస కానన కుండల కుంచిత కేస హాత్ వజ్ర ధ్వజ విరాజే కాంధే మూంజ జనే వో సాజే శంకర సువన కేసరి నందన తేజ ప్రతాపు మహాజగవందన విద్యావాన ఉనియతి చాతుర్ రామ కాజ కరిబే కో ఆతుర్ ప్రభు చరిత్ర 
ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಕೇ ಕಾಜ ಸಮಾರೆ ಲಾಯ ಸ ಜೀವನ ಲಖನ ಜಿಯಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರಘುವೀರ ಹರ ಶಿವರು ಲಾಯ ರಘುಪತಿ ಕೀನಿ ಬಹುತ ಬಡಾಯಿ ತುಮ ಮಮ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಭರತ ಹಿ ಸಮಾಯಿ ಸಹಸ ಬದನ ತುಮ ರೋಯಸ ಗಾವೆ ಅಸ ಕಹಿ ಶ್ರೀಪತಿ ಕಂಠ ಲಗಾವೆ ಸನ ಕಾಧಿಕ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾದಿ ಮುನಿ ಸಾನಾರದ ಸಾರದ ಸಹಿತ ಹಿ ಸಮ ಕುಬೇರ ದಿಗಪಾಲ ಜಹಾತೆ ಕವಿ ಕೋವಿದ ಕಹಿ ಸಖೆ ಕಹಾತೆ ತುಮ ಉಪಕಾರ ಸುಗ್ರೀವ ಹಿ ಕೇನ ರಾಮ ಮಿಲಾಯ ರಾಜಪದ ದೇನ ತುಮರು ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಮಾನ ಲಂಕೇಶ್ವರ ಭಯ ಸಬ ಜಗ ಜಾನ ಯುಗ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಯೋಜನ ಪರಭಾನು ಲೀಲ್ಯೋತಾಹಿ ಮಧುರ ಫಲ ಜಾನು ಪ್ರಭು ಮುದ್ರಿಕಾ ಮೇಲಿ ಮುಖ ಮಾಹಿ ಜಲಧಿ ಲಾಂಗಿ ಗೈ ಅಚರಜ ನಾಹಿ ದುರ್ಗಮ ಕಾಜ ಜಗತ್ ಕೆ ಜೇತೆ ಸುಗಮ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ತುಮರೇತೆ ರಾಮ ದುವಾರಿ ತುಮ ರಖವಾರಿ ಹೋತ ನಾಜ್ಞಾ ಬಿನ ಪೈಸಾರಿ ಸಬ ಸುಖ ಲಹೆ ತುಮ್ಹಾರಿ ಸರನ ತುಮ ರಕ್ಷಕ ಕಾಹು ಕೋ ಧರನ ಆಪನ ತೇಜ ಸಮಾರೋ ಆಪೆ ತೀನೋ ಲೋಕ ಹಾಕ ತೇ ಕಾಪೆ ಭೂತ ಪಿಸಾಚ ನಿಕಟ ನಹಿ ಆವೆ ಮಹಾವೀರ ಜಬ ನಾಮ ಸುನಾವೆ ನಾಸೈ ರೋಗ ಹರೈ ಸಬ ಪೀರ ಜಪತ್ ನಿರಂತರ ಹನುಮತ್ ಬೀರ ಸಂಕಟ ಸೇ ಹನುಮಾನ ಚುಡಾವೆ ಮನ ಕ್ರಮ ಭಜನ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಜೋಲಾವೆ ಸಬ ಪರ ರಾಮ ತಪಸ್ವಿ ರಾಜ ತಿನ ಕೇ ಕಾಜ ಸಕಲ ತುಮ ಸಾಜ ಔರ ಮನೋರಥ ಜೋ ಕೋಯಿ ಲಾವೆ ಸೋಯಿ ಅಮಿತ ಜೀವನ ಫಲ ಪಾವೆ ಚಾರೋ ಯುಗ ಪರ ತಾಪ ತುಂಹಾರ ಹೈ ಪರ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಜಗತ ಉಜಿಯಾರ ಸಾಧು ಸಂತ ಕೇ ತುಮ ರಖವಾರಿ ಅಸುರ ನಿಕಂದನ ರಾಮ ದುಲಾರೆ ಅಷ್ಟ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ನವ ನಿಧಿ ಕೇ ದಾತ ಅಸುಬರ ದೀನ ಜಾನಕಿ ಮಾತ ರಾಮ ರಸಾಯನ ತುಮ ರೇ ಪಾಸ ಸದಾ ರಹೋ ರಘುಪತಿ ಕೇ ದಾಸ ತುಮ ರೇ ಭಜನ ರಾಮ ಕೋ ಬಾವೆ ಜನ್ಮ ಜನ್ಮ ಕೇ ದುಃಖ ಬಿಸುರಾವೆ ಅಂತ ಕಾಲ ರಘುವರ ಪುರು ಜಾಯಿ ಜಹಾ ಜನ್ಮ ಹರಿ ಭಕ್ತ ಕಹಾಯಿ ಔರ ದೇವತಾ ಚಿತ್ತ ನ ಧರಯಿ ಹನುಮತ್ ಸೇಯಿ ಸರ್ವ ಸುಖ ಕರಯಿ ಸಂಕಟ ಕಟೆ ಮಿಟೈ ಸಬ ಪೀರ ಜೋ ಸುಮಿರೆ ಹನುಮತ್ ಬಲ ಬೀರ ಜೈ 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 ಹನುಮಾನ ಗೋಸಾಯಿ ಕೃಪಾ ಕರಹು ಗುರುದೇವ ಕಿ ನಾಯಿ ಜೋ ಸತ್ ಬಾರ ಪಾಠ ಕರ ಕೋಯಿ ಚೋಟ ಹಿ ಬಂಧಿ ಮಹಾ ಸುಖ ಹೋಯಿ ಜೋ ಯಹ ಪಡೆ ಹನುಮಾನ ಚಲೀಸ ಹೋಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸಾಕಿ ಗೌರಿ ಸ ತುಳಸಿ ದಾಸ ಸದಾ ಹರಿ ಚೇರ ಕೀ ಜೈ ನಾಥ ಹೃದಯ ಮಹಡೇರ ಪವನ ತನಯ ಸಂಕಟ ಹರನ ಮಂಗಲ ಮೂರತಿ ರೂಪ ರಾಮ ಲಖನ ಸೀತಾ ಸಹಿತ ಹೃದಯ ಬಸವು ಸುರಭೂಪ ಅಸತೋಮ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋಮ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮ ಅಮೃತಂಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಾಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾಡರೇಟ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ 
గిరిజయ్ గారు సెడ్ నో ఆన్సర్స్ ఎనీ కామెంట్స్ ప్లీజ్ డాక్టర్ నాయర్ ఈస్ అర్ మ్యూట్ ఐ థింక్ This is Shamala, Girija. Yeah. I really, I, it, there was a lot of mysticism in your speech. I really liked it. I learned a lot of things that I had uh, not known before, especially what Swami Teja Mayananda has said and other things. Really yeah. enjoyed it. Thank you, Shamala. Yeah, especially your um, uh, 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 quotes from... Uh, Uh, Sukha Maharshi, how he felt about Radha, Swami Vivekananda, Ayn Radha Krishna, Ayn Tejo Mayan, and this um, references. So wonderful. Actually, for um, the, uh, the audience who are not aware uh, that we are pretty close to this um, uh, place called Radha Dham in Austin. Unfortunately, it has become a cult uh, tradition, but that culture is very rich in some areas in india as guru garu said uh, you know there is goloka and then radha loka and then from there uh, all the incarnation which happened and if i may add a um, couple of things uh, guru garu um, yeah. so radha as you said taila dharavat so beautifully said if you reverse radha it becomes a dhara and uh, if you actually that is the right way in sanskrit it should be radha it's not radha uh, but you know in telugu somebody else says uh, in uh, when it's cut short it says it is said radha if you reverse that be- it becomes dhara yeah. so dhara is earthly things but when you reverse dhara it becomes radha a spiritual or uplifted and elevated um, philosophy that is one and then uh, um <clears throat> the 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 second aspect which um, i just wanted to repeat what you said in another class um in fridays so it is um, you know, all uh, mirabai and um, amukta malyada as um, uh, um, goda devi as uh, you rightly pointed out but uh, uh, tyagaraja and um, annamaya uh, and uh, tulsidas they worshiped they worshiped uh, uh, rama and uh, krishna as our balaji as their uh, uh, like just adorable like aradhana they becoming radha by themselves and looking at krishna and quoting mira by like there is only one purusha and the rest all are radhas here and uh, if we look at lord krishna like that and in rama avatara all these rishis uh, adored rama and became gopis in krishna i think uh, you did mention many a time this in bhagavatam and rama and class thank you raju i have a question sir that that was your vast knowledge is so clear uh, in your talk uh, this is madhav i am just wondering why even though uh, we all accept a uh, gita as the, our primary scripture for everything and it's all all about krishna but uh, there are so few krishna temples and krishna is uh, in traditional uh, dvaita style uh, dualism style why krishna worshiping is not as popular as other deities or am i am i talking wrong Uh, is my information incorrect yeah i'm 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 going to discuss that in the next future classes because uh, i have some material uh, i had the same kind of doubt uh, in our, for example south india we don't see many radha krishna temples right so in bhuvaneswara for example the krishna balarama and subhadra there is another temple in north which is the same concept in in bengal there there are some temples uh, you know Radha is a con- not in concept. South India is Lakshmi Narayana, like I said, you know, Krishna temple uh, is always called by a different name in Andhra, in South India. Uh, there is, of course, the famous uh, Guru Vaya temple, Udipi temple, those kinds of things. I don't know what kind of uh, female de- deity they have over there in Udipi. Anybody knows? 
but I have, I have researched that, and I'm going to come up with some, you know, in the new future uh, uh, discussions, I can share some of the information with you. The Radha, the Radha concept is mainly North Indian concept. I don't know how it came about, about. but in, in Sachinarayana temple, then the, the name is different. Just like in Shiva, uh, in uh, Kalasthi, there is Jnana Prasvanamba, like that. In uh, Sri Salem, her name is uh, Abhramaramba. In Kasi, Visayalakshi, just like that. Mm -hmm. the, the Purusha is the same. Vishnu, of course, they have different names too. Just like that, created. Vishnu temple, Lakshmarayana. Rama temple, Sita, like that. But Krishna is not that popular in, in uh, at least in Andhra Pradesh. We have more Ramalayas, more Shiva lands than Krishna lands, as far as I know. Yeah. Uh, Only in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh. Yeah. Uh, but in Udupi, again, Krishna Sampradaya is very popular. Guru Ayur, Kerala, as we all know, Dwaraka, Madhura. And you know, I've been fortunate actually to go uh, see these temples. So Gujarat, um, uh, Dr. Biram, um, uh, Jai Sri Krishna. In fact, that's what they. Uh, that's how they greet Jai Shri Krishna. It becomes Jai Sri Krishna. But uh, so Dwaraka and uh, Mathura and this Brindavan, and uh, if we go even further, it's Badrinath. So all these are very popular actually. So it's not uncommon then. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, Girija, uh, I. I this is Shamla. I have to add something. See, in the Guruvayur temple, it is the Krishna himself, right? The main deity. Mm -hmm. but, they, but we do have a Durga Devi uh, on the, I think it is on the right side. So if you go to most of the Krishna temple, we have several Krishna temple in Kerala. Mm -hmm. And there will be a Devi always. Mm -hmm. You know, the reason being the original, uh, the... the he is Patmanapha Sahodari, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Durga is Patmanapha Sahodari. So if you consider uh, Krishna as Vishnu, uh, Durga Devi is there. And, and another example is in the Kurukshetra uh, battlefield, they, they have this Gita Mantapa, right? Where Lord Krishna explained the Gita to uh, Arjuna, right? You, if you have been there, you can see that very on the very back of it, there is a beautiful Durga uh, deity and she is being worshipped. So I think, uh, it, but it is considered as Durga and they don't say as Ratha, but it is very common. In Kerala, it is very, uh, we have several uh, Krishna temples. Okay, okay. So okay. that's what I have seen. Shamala, in, in most of those temples, what is the female deity's name? Pa female deity's name, we, we never call it Radha. It is Durga. Oh, it was, yeah, Durga or Parvati. All right, with that note, it is almost 8 o'clock. Yep. So, you want to continue researching this? I can, I can, I can talk for about another five or six more classes on this. Yeah, well, Girija, we, we want you to come back again and again. Okay. Good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. With that, Shubharatri, everyone. Shubharatri. Sankranti. Happy Sankranti, everybody. Yep. Happy Makara Sankranti. We'll meet tomorrow. Good job. Good job. Thank you. <laughs>